Hi, friends. Mm, well, getting distracted. So, I have a giant pimple right here. Stress. <laughs> so, I went for... It happened. I went to my orientation yesterday. And I had my first day of classes today. And it went relatively alright. Like... It wasn't an amazing experience or anything. In fact, it was kind of boring. <sighs> I don't know why I was expecting it to be super hardcore. I mean, there was definitely some socialization that I that had to happen, but um <laughs> that had to happen. Like, I, the thing is, I want to socialize. I want to become friends with people. I really do. Um, and I think I met a friend today. I think. Now, this is still a work in progress. And we literally just met today. She sparked up a conversation while I was um, sitting on a bench getting organized. And we just decided to go eat some food together. And then we met up again after that class. And we went and had more food. <laughs> um, we went and got fries and poutine and stuff, and yeah, we went back to her dorm room, and we just kind of listened to music and chatted, and, um, we didn't h hang out, like, for a really long time, but I'm really excited to, like, see where this goes, um, because she seems really, like, an interesting person. She's from Toronto, um, it's her first time living outside of her family, and like, she's a year younger than me, um, like, a, a little over a year younger than me, actually, because she's born earlier, or later in the year, um, than I am, but I don't know, like, in college, I feel like that doesn't matter as much that people, like, age doesn't matter as much as it did in high school, age doesn't really matter that much anyway, but, you know, typically, you stick with people around your age and become friends with them, but... I think in college, it becomes a little bit more, like, of a wide, um, wide open space. Spectrum. The age spectrum can be a little bit bigger for friends. Just because there's lots of different ages coming into college. Like, it's not all kids going straight from high school. It's a lot of times, um people a year or two younger or older or people that are returning and like 26 years old I've met a few like 26 year olds that are in my program so yeah but I do think we're gonna have some sort of friendship I don't know if it's gonna be an amazing friendship because she's not in my program which means I won't be having classes with her but then again like Right now, she doesn't have any friends, and I don't really have any friends, so we thought, well, why don't we become friends and, like, hang out on our breaks or whatever, and go back to her dorm and possibly smoke marijuana. Um, she has marijuana and stuff to smoke it with. Smoke it? Um, and I know I made my video about how I don't want to smoke pot anymore, but... I might give it another go and just try not to freak out, so. Mm -hmm. um, maybe if I just distract myself by eating a lot of my yummies foods, yummy foods, and apparently she has a big thing of junk food in her room, so I think we will probably be snacking like a lot tomorrow if we do this. Yeah, but I'm really happy about that and... Um, things are going really well, like, in my living situation, I've moved in with my friend, and, uh, I have my own room, which I still have yet to film a room tour, so, mm-hmm. But yeah, so that's what's going on, um... So, I mean, I didn't have really anything to be worried about. It's a little, it's a, it's a little bit 
nerve-wracking, like, stressful, awkward, being with, like, a bunch of random strangers, especially playing, um, those icebreaker games. I hate those games so much because they just, like, once they say, oh, we're gonna play a little game, I want to get to know you guys better, my heart just starts to, like, beat faster. I can hear my heart beating, like, outside of so, yeah, things like that just put me on the spot, and I don't like them, and I wish that didn't happen. But at the same time, I see the purpose of them. But, yeah, so, I mean, it's going a lot better than I thought it was going to be going. And I don't really know what's going to happen from here on out. I just know that I do really have to try and focus on my education priority number one because there's a lot of stuff that I have to do there is a huge 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 is it course load I guess you would say that is going to be happening (laughs) to me this semester and probably next semester um it's going to be a lot of work and I know that Just because, like, going to my first lectures today, getting kind of introduced into what we're going to be doing, like, holy fuck, this is very different than high school, and it's so different than high school. Like, you can honestly just get up and walk out of the room. You don't even have to put your hand up or anything like that. You don't even have to put your hand up to use the bathroom. Like, you can just walk out of the room which I think is so cool, but at the same time is so weird. Uh, I feel like I'm making a fool of myself there. Like, I don't know. Might be me overthinking. But, you know, just with certain people that I've socialized with in today, (laughs) I just feel like maybe I'm, I'm portraying myself as the kind of stupid And I wish that I could change that, but I really am just being myself. And I'm kind of, I can kind of come off as a little bit dumb (sighs) sometimes. But I hope people don't get turned off by that because I'm not dumb. I'm just, like, sometimes I say dumb things just because I'm an awkward person. I'm a nice person. I'm just an awkward person, so... Like, I say dumb things because I'm, I don't really know what else to say, kind of thing. So, that's why I say dumb things. But anyway, I'm not really nervous now. I'm honestly just kind of dreading all of the schoolwork I'm going to have to do, <laughs> to be real with you. Um, and just, like, a little, a little anxious to see if I'm even going to make any friends by the end of my semester or school year. I'm just thankful that I have a few friends actually going to the school, so I'm not going to be completely lonely and have absolutely nobody, but I would like to have a few friends in my program, if you know what I mean, because it would suck if I didn't. Also, there's this really cute guy in my class. Well, he's not really cute, but he's really tall, and he has, like, a really nice body, and I actually think I went to school with him, and I may have even talked to him a few times back when I was in grade 10 or something, but his name's Charlie, or Charles, or whatever, and I think I might have a crush on him, but I can't be crushing on people, because... I don't want to get involved. I don't think, like, I don't want to get, like, super nervous around some person, you know, because that was me for my entire high school career. Like, I would just develop these hopeless crushes on guys and make it so awkward. I don't want it to happen again. I If it's going to happen, I just want it to happen smoothly. But I honestly cannot be distracted 
about with this. Like, that's so stupid. I have better things to look at right now, okay? But at the same time, I feel like, oh my god, but you're, you're young. Like, you know, this is the time of your life where you want to meet people. You want to meet boys. You want to, like, get into your first relationships, whatever. <sighs> I'm a confused 18-year-old college student, and I'm tired, I'm underslept, I just want to go and work out right now, to be honest with you. Like, I... Honestly, I kind of just want to go work out before I have to go to bed. But I don't think my friend is... My roommate slash friend is going to want to drive us at like 9 or 10 o'clock at night to go to the gym. Because she's already gone to the gym this morning. or Yeah, this morning. So I think I'm just going to have to suck it up and start waking up earlier figuring something out and going to the gym in the early mornings you know waking up at five o'clock in the morning I may just have to do that and then I get my weekends off like I get a three-day weekend where I don't have to do that but you know for the other four days of the week I can work out and I think that was a pretty good schedule honestly um and it would mean I'd have to go to bed earlier which I've always had a problem with because I'm a night owl and I just stay up late, like really late, like sometimes so late that I just can't get to sleep and so I just end up pulling an all-nighter and go the day without any sleep. And that's what happened the other day. And I'm rambling. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But I think I'm going to go because the video is 12 minutes long and I have things to organize. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching my rambling mother me mother me mother me mother me mother me please I need my mother I haven't seen my mother in a few days and I miss her and I miss my, my cat Lily I just want to go home to my family I haven't seen them and I miss them and I'm getting homesick thank goodness I get to go home on weekends I don't know if I'd be able to handle not being able to do that. Anyway, thanks for watching.